Today is everything about exfoliants. So we are hopefully gonna dive in deep and answer any of the questions that you might have. So let's get to it. So first things first, I wanted to shout out my friend Allison and fellow alopecia. She has therapeutic journals that range anywhere from hair loss support to living your most authentic life, and she has really cute merch. I have been using her Authentically You journal for a bit, but I have become an iPad girly as of late. She is the most generous person ever. She actually gave me the PDF file for my journal so that I could use it. One thing that I really love about Allison is that she is so supportive of her community. She she hosts free support groups and I just think there isn't anyone that's really as selfless as her. So if you guys should check her out, it would mean a lot to me. Alright, we just did the first cleanse so let's take a look at the skin. So overall my texture is pretty good. I have a little bit of kind of congestion going on in here. My wine and dine area is usually always not the best. Overall, we're not doing too bad, so we are going to stick with it. So let's get to it. Exfoliating unclogs your pores. It improves circulation, which is what gets your blood flowing and gives you that youthful glow. It improves your product penetration or product absorption. So your skin is supposed to regenerate on basically a 28-day cycle. The older that you get, the slower that gets. So that's why regular exfoliation is so important. It keeps your skin on a constant regeneration cycle, which overall even that your skin tone. I should have to put this disclaimer but everyone is absolutely perfect as is these things are just facts to get a healthy skin barrier i'm a professional but i do not know you personally you need to contact your local professional before you consider trying any of these things for yourself this didn't give me a reaction last time, so we're going in and using it again today. So I've been kind of wanting to do bi-weekly lives and like little get ready with me's for these videos. And it would just be hang out, get ready. We were going to do makeup. So next week is St. Patrick's Day. So we are going to be doing a bunch of different makeup looks like these ones here. I really love the rainbows, but it could be a gold with like a green. Remember, we have to cleanse for 60 seconds and make sure we get in all of the places. Skincare is like math. You can look at a problem a hundred different ways and realize that there's multiple paths to get to the end goal, to get to the solution. So with that being said, I think every person is unique. What makes up every person's like skin structure, skin barrier and everything is unique. Okay, so for exfoliation, you should be doing it pretty much every other day. You can do it weekly, you can do it monthly. It really depends on your skin type and how strong your skin barrier is if you built up like a tolerance to it. If you were to do it every other day, it would be in products such as like cleansers or in the treat step. If you were to do it weekly, it would be in the exfoliation step. And if you were to do it monthly, you do it with a professional. Today, we are exfoliating with Dermalogica's Liquid Peel Foliant. I like this one. It's fairly new to me. I've only used it a handful of times. It has an abundance of actives in it. So it has all of the AHAs, it has the BHAs and fruit enzymes. It's really going to smooth, unclog, and overall even out your skin tone. So I'm just going to put it on my hand, a little square. Careful not to rub it in too much on your fingers. So it says for three minutes, do not exceed. And then we are going to cleanse it off. I'm just making sure it's all over my skin, getting a little bit on my neck. I'm going to wash my hands off. Now definitely this one can have some sensation to it. So be mindful of that. All right, we are going to start the removal process for the whole face. So New York Fashion Week was a couple of weeks ago and I have been in straight recovery mode. One thing that was really cool is I actually got to do an interview with my hometown. I don't know. I feel like a low-key celebrity right now. And so let's do it. And now I've got a special guest on the line, uh, Glenn Dyes native, Alyssa Kessel, who's doing some amazing things. Hold on. So this is with my friend Dave. I gave him a shout out in that last video. Hey Dave. He is actually on a morning talk show now. How cool is that? Okay. Things in New York City. Alyssa, how are you today? I'm great. Thank you, Dave. How are you? I'm doing good. It's good to have someone following their dreams on the radio right now, I guess. Um, I think that's one thing we both have in common. We've, we've talked about that before. So your post last, last week, I mean, it's fashion week, right, in New York? Like, is this something that's like a little bit, a little bit of a Super Bowl for you? Or is this just another week? So it was pretty much, I probably wouldn't say Super Bowl. I, I, would, I would probably equate the Paris or Milan fashion show or fashion week to that for me. But we're not there yet. This is probably like playoffs. 
you know? Gotcha. That was it was one. the first step. Hopefully a long, long, long haul. So oh, we'll, so we'll cool. see where it ends up. What would you say to anybody else out there trying to accomplish their goals? Keep pushing forward. Don't let anyone knock you down. Your dreams are your dreams, and they are valid. Awesome. Let's call mm. it right there. Alyssa, appreciate you talking to us over here. Okay. I'm following okay. you on Facebook also. Thank you so much Aww. for having me, Dave. I really appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Alyssa. Okay. All okay. right. Okay. So that was fun. I'm so awkward, I feel, when it comes to interacting with people. I'm just going to put on this collagen banging serum after we exfoliated and iced. We don't want to rub it together too much in your hands because you want it to rub mostly into the skin on your face. So far, we are looking so good. Now that we have exfoliated, we have treated, we are going to go in and moisturize. Lately, one of my favorite combos is doing like my Dermalogic Active Moist and then just following it up with coconut oil. This isn't for everyone. Again, this is not for every skin type, but for me, this is what has been working. So this is what I'm gonna do again tonight. So a couple of combinations that I wanted to let you know about at home exfoliation. Like I mentioned earlier, we have some daily products, which a couple of my favorites are the milk folia and microfolia from Dermalogica. I think those ones can be gentle enough for everyday use, but I think they should always be started off as probably once a week use. If you have never exfoliated before, if you don't know like anything about your skin, my next favorite products to incorporate with exfoliating properties are cleansers. So we have a glycolic cleanser and we have a skin resurfacing cleanser. Those ones, you have to be careful pairing these with the rest of your products. So another thing that you can do to exfoliate is like retinol. Everything is meant to exfoliate. These are at-home products that are meant to use for daily use. So they are generally lower in percentages and a little bit safer to use at home, but you still have to be careful. And then you have your weekly ones, like the one that I just did today. We have a couple of good ones with like glycolic and lactic acid glycolic acid and like vitamin a is like the super foliant or the liquid peel foliant because it has a lot more higher percentages that you can use so it's going to be a little bit more progressive do a little bit more dirty work gonna get you to see your results a little bit faster then you have your monthly services which would be like your physical exfoliations you have your chemical exfoliations both are great both have certain different benefits i love them both so this last step for our nightly skincare is our lips and eyes for eyes, I am going in with my Awaken Eye Gel from Dermalogica, and for lips, I'm just going in with the stick of Aquaphor. Seriously love it. Perfect. One of the things lately that I've been doing to help get myself back into the groove of life is reading a little bit more and expanding my knowledge instead of scrolling on social media because I find that to be a little bit more mind-numbing lately. So one book that I've really been reading and really loving is The Untethered Soul by Michael A. Singer. It is all about kind of like centering yourself and realizing who you are, separate feelings from the facts about like social media use and everything. I don't know, it's been really interesting and I think it's such a good book and it's helped me a lot kind of develop myself individually. So if you guys wanted to check it out, I definitely would recommend it. All right, and that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure to like, comment your favorite part of the video and make sure you're subscribed for more. I'll see you next time.